What is going on everybody? It's Jacob. In this video, we're going to talk about the five steps that you need to follow in order to make your first six figures online ASAP. Okay, now if you don't know me, um, a little bit of an intro and why I'm qualified to be talking to you about this. I built my own seven figure online business between affiliate marketing, high ticket affiliate marketing, creating my own product, selling coaching. Um, I've done a lot of different things over the last three years in building my online business. So I feel very, very comfortable giving you this advice, okay? Um, right now, what I focus on in particular is helping people get started and grow a high ticket affiliate marketing business. Okay, so some of the stuff that we're gonna talk about is gonna tie into this, but we're also gonna talk about a couple of different options that you've got. But if you do wanna get into high ticket affiliate marketing, you can check out the links in the description and uh, you might be interested in working with me and my team on that. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video and leave any questions or comments that you've got below and I'll do my best to get back to you throughout the week, okay? So let's dive into this one. Five steps, right? Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you're gonna know I typically talk about a four-step process. But for this video in particular, um, for maybe people that haven't heard of me before or, or haven't seen me before, I wanted to add an additional step um, just to really set the scene before we dive into the four core pieces that I typically talk about with uh, with my students and my audience, both here on um, YouTube and over in my Facebook group. And there's a link in the description if you wanna join the Facebook group, okay? So the very first one is the math, right? Let's understand the math of six figures. So let's get this going, right? That is $100,000 per year, right? So let's real quick do the math on this. What does that look like per month, right? Now we're gonna, we're not gonna worry about breaking up profits and, and revenue and stuff like that because it depends on the method that you um, follow. But let's just say you wanna make your first $100,000 online. So if we go 100,000 divided by 12, that's $8,333 per month, right? $33 per month. Um, or we can look at a weekly and we can go that divided by 52, which is $1,923 per week, okay? $23 per week, All right? We can even take this one step further if you really wanna understand what you're up against and, and what you're trying to tackle. And we can go that divided by 365. So it's $273 per day. Okay, this is a really important thing to understand because so many people throw around, oh, six figures, I wanna make 100 grand, but you've gotta actually look at it and go, well, well, what does that mean? You know, what, what does that mean I have to sell each day, each week, each month, each quarter in order to actually hit that goal, okay? So here it is broken down for you. And $100,000 sounds like a hell of a lot of money, but then when you break it down to $273 per day, it's not that bad, right? And if you use the stuff that we're gonna talk about today, you can absolutely, absolutely hit that, okay? So once you understand this, at least you know, okay, that's the amount I need to be working towards, right? We're not talking about theory and fluff. We're like, all right, I gotta make $273 a day or $1,900 a week or $8,333 a month, and over 12 months, I will get to my goal, okay? So that's the first step. That's the first point, is just to make sure that you understand those numbers. Incredibly simple math, but a lot of people don't talk about them. Now, mindset, okay, this is the one that I'm probably gonna lose a few of you and that's okay. Um, you might, you know, once you get into this stuff, you'll realize kind of how important it is. Um, but mindset, right? So why is this Why is this critical, right? If you've followed me for any length of time, you know I'm not a super kind of woo-woo type person who really dives into mindset too much. It's it's critical and there's some really critical pieces, um, but people get, people get so lost in it. Okay, why is mindset important, right? If you wanna build an online business, you need to be clear about the things that we're gonna talk about today, right? And there's a couple of things that are gonna be going on up here. And if they're not in check, it's gonna make it really, really, really tough to do, okay? So the first thing with your mindset that I want you to have dialed in is, I can't use Google Docs, is I want you to have dialed in your why, right? What is the reason that you are doing this, okay? Over the journey, there's gonna be highs, there's gonna be lows, there's gonna be bumps in the road, there's gonna be days where you wanna quit, there's gonna be weeks where you wanna quit, you wanna hit the big red button and blow everything up, okay? The why, the reason that you're doing this is what's gonna get you through those weeks, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it and tell you it's all perfect, right? I have days very regularly where I'm like, fuck this, I'm done, I'm out. It happens at all different levels, okay? So 
having a really, really strong reason as to why you want to do this is absolutely, absolutely critical. The second thing that you need to understand is having an abundant perspective on the landscape, on the online business landscape, okay? So what does that mean, right? It sounds a bit, sounds a bit theoretical and all those kind of things, but what that really means is that, look, there's so much opportunity out there. There's so many people out there. So much money changes hands online every day, and you really don't need that much to come your way in order to you know hit this goal that we're talking about here. So you just have to appreciate that there's a ton of opportunity and you only really need to intercept a tiny fraction of a percentage to hit this goal. Okay, so keep this in mind when you know you lose a sale, right? Or someone goes and buys from somebody else, or you think you're gonna land a sale and then they ultimately don't end up buying, right? Or you know, you're, you're executing for a while and maybe the results aren't coming. The opportunity is out there and it's going to be rewarded to the people who are consistent. Okay, that's where an abundant perspective comes into it. And the third piece is noise and blocking out noise. Blocking out noise from people who are gonna tell you to stop. They could be people close to you, they could be people online, it doesn't really matter. And the other type of noise is the internal noise, your self doubts, right? If you're tackling this and it's something new, doubt is going to creep in and you need to block that out and continue to push on and get it done, okay? If you focus on those three things, you'll have no problems hitting your first six figures online very soon and uh, they're gonna be the biggest ones. Once you get beyond that, there's gonna be new sets of, of challenges that present themselves. But if you can focus on, this is like the 80-20 of mindset when it comes to online business, in my opinion, from my experience, okay? Some other people might have different experiences, but for me and uh, for both from both my own perspective and having worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students, these big three, if people can focus in on these, they know why they wanna do it, they stay in an abundant perspective and they block out the noise from the people around them, right? both online and close to them and they and they block out the, the internal doubts, you're sweet, you'll crush it, okay? So once you've got that in check, we we know the math, we know what we've got to hit, we've got our few key mindset points in, in perspective, then we need an offer, right? We need something to sell. Man, this document is not working for me today. Um, we need something to sell. So what a lot of people will talk about is, you know, traffic and building an audience and all that kind of stuff. I prefer to start with the I prefer to start with the offer. So this is where you really decide what am I going to sell? And and I in particular work with people on information marketing. So we're not really talking about like selling widgets or, or drop shipping or FBA or all that kind of stuff. So info marketing, right, is is you know, it's selling um, digital products. And there's two ways that you can go about doing this. You can either you can either do um, affiliate marketing or you can create your own. And this thing is going crazy. Create your own. Right, these are your two options. I've done both of these. They both work really, really well. Um, if you don't like the idea of having to go and put together a whole course and, and worry about the tech and handle the support and the merchant accounts, payment processing, all that kind of stuff, affiliate marketing may be the place for you. I think affiliate marketing is a brilliant place for people to start, particularly high ticket affiliate marketing, which we'll touch on in a second, because you can focus, as the name suggests, on the sales and the marketing on the front end. While you figure that all, all that stuff out, then you can eventually upgrade or, or, or evolve into creating your own offers. And by that point, you'll have the sales and marketing down, right? A lot of people jump into creating their own stuff and they don't know how to sell it. And then they don't get the results that they want. Affiliate marketing allows you to really simplify the process, learn the sales and the marketing that you're going to need to sell your own product anyway, but you can do it without worrying about any of the, any of the additional complexities. Okay. Now, whichever one of these you decide to go with, I would recommend that you have an offer in your stack that's high ticket. And when I say this, I want you to be able to get paid a minimum of $500 per sale, okay? So if we, at this point, we, we revisit the math that we did at the start, if you're selling something for, for $50, right? You're gonna need to sell six a day in order to hit your goal, right? And that's quite a lot. When you're first getting started, you, you're probably not gonna have a ton of traffic. You may not have a massive budget to spend on ads if that's the path that you go down. You're gonna need to sell, you know, six a day to get past this, which, you know, what is that? It's 40, 42 a week. That's that's a lot of volume, okay? That's a lot of volume. So by integrating a high ticket component, either as your own offer or an affiliate marketing offer, it's really, you know, it makes this these numbers a lot easier to hit. You know, you hit one a day and you're nearly doubling your goal. Or you hit, um, you know, four a week at $500. Ideally, I even like to see people pushing up where they're making 
um, $750, $1,000. So then it's like between two and four a week and you're at your goal, okay? you It just becomes so much easier to process kind of at least mentally, like the, the stress around it is less because it, it's so much less volume. You need less customers, right? It just, it makes everything easier. That's not to say it's easy, but it makes it easier than trying to sell massive, 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 massive volume of really, really low ticket things. When you just, starting out, you're not gonna have the capacity to get in front of that many people. Okay, so either get into affiliate marketing and get into high ticket affiliate marketing. And if you want help with that, links are in the description or create create your own offer and have something that's a minimum of $500 in there. That's gonna be the fastest way that you can get to your six figures, okay? Then the next part, once you know what you wanna sell is conversion. And this is the sales process. This is how you take someone from a lead into a buyer, right, over and over again. This is the process that you, you use to extract value, right, to extract money from your audience. Now, what most people do here, the mistake they make is they try and do way too many um, different processes, right? They'll have three different funnels. They'll be talking to people on the phone. They'll be on Messenger. You know, they'll be pitching live in YouTube videos, on email. They're doing they're doing a hundred thousand different things, and none of them are working. Regardless of whichever one of these you've selected, I would recommend that you focus in on one conversion process. Okay, so make it one funnel, or make it Messenger, or just pitch on your YouTube videos, right? Like narrow in on your one conversion process, and it needs to match the platform that you choose, which we'll talk about in a second. But focus in on one conversion process and it's gonna give you a ton, a ton of clarity, okay? I've got other videos on my channel about you know questions to ask to sell one-to-one, -one, how to sell on YouTube, some email marketing stuff, basic funnels. There, there's other videos on the channel that cover that stuff, so I'm not gonna go into detail in this one. But choose one, okay? Choose one and then that over and over and over again will sell the product that you've selected here. Okay, now the final piece is the audience. Where are you going to get in front of people? How are people going to find you? What platform are you going to use? Okay, now there's two things you can do here. You can either use organic or paid traffic. For beginners looking to make their first six figures, I typically recommend organic traffic. That's because most people don't have the budget or the skills to dive immediately into paid. Paid traffic is a whole nother beast, it's a whole nother game. You need to be in a certain mindset, willing to test, all those kind of things. But organic marketing lets you jump in and you can start growing and it doesn't cost you money on ad spend to get moving, okay? So assuming you take that advice on, that's where you start, then you've got a couple of options. You can start a blog, you can start on YouTube, you can start on Facebook, you can start on Instagram. Whichever one of these, it, it's fine. It doesn't matter which one you choose, you just need to match up the conversion process to the platform, okay? So if you're gonna do a blog, you're gonna to wanna to use a funnel, right? That's more evergreen content that sits there and you send people over to um, your funnel. Same with YouTube. Um, you can even just put like a, you probably wanna collect the emails, but you can even just put a sales um, page in your YouTube videos and that's fine too. Um, but ideally you wanna collect the emails if you can. Um, Facebook, Facebook and Instagram are great for direct messaging people and selling over Messenger. So you can start there and then you know eventually you can start to integrate funnels as well. But the point is you've got a lot of options in these different buckets. I would highly recommend that you just come through here and you say, okay, I understand this math. I'm gonna write these things down and I'm gonna focus on them. I'm gonna be conscious of them. And then go out there and choose either an affiliate product or create your own product. Okay, affiliate products, there's there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them out there, right? Hit up, um, go onto Google, search for them, look at launches, look at the affiliate networks, look at YouTube, um, look at Facebook groups, just use a little bit of resourcefulness and go out there and find the different products that you can promote, right? Or if you wanna create your own, what skills do you have? What problems can you solve? and bundle together a package that you can sell for $500, okay? I want you earning a minimum of this because it makes this, what we discussed up here, so much more achievable, okay? So you do that and then you say, okay, well, what's my conversion process gonna be? Do I wanna use a funnel, which is more automated but is a lot harder to get it to convert or am I gonna talk to people? Talking to people is a great place to start selling one-to-one -one because you can handle their objections directly, whereas your funnel needs to handle all of the possible objections. 
So this is a great place for people to start and they really start to learn why people buy, why people don't buy, what are their real objections? And then when they start to do funnels, they're naturally gonna perform better because people have a better understanding of their audience. Okay, so then you take that, you match it up to the platform and pick a platform that plays to your strengths. If you're an awful writer, but you're great on video, right? Use YouTube. If you suck on video, but you're a great writer, build a blog, right? Or if you can do both, use Facebook. I think Facebook is a great place to start at the time of filming this because it allows you to go direct to your customers, right? You're not waiting on Google to rank an article. You're not waiting on YouTube to rank a video. You can get directly in front of people and you can sell your stuff. Okay, Instagram I don't have a ton of experience with, but I know you can get massive results over there as well. Okay, what's then gonna happen is as this starts to grow, people are gonna trickle into your sales process and you're gonna convert them from a lead into a buyer and they're gonna buy your thing, okay? Then what's gonna happen is this is all gonna get better and better and better and better. You're gonna get more clarity around why you're doing this as you start to see what's possible, right? When you first start, the reason why might be like, I don't know, an extra thousand bucks a month. Right, but then eventually you might say, okay, that's easy, I can do that. Then it's like, all right, well, I'm gonna leave my job. Now it's like, all right, well, I'm gonna hit you know, my first 20K month and it just grows and grows and your why and your perspective around all this stuff will change. This will become easier to maintain because you'll see sales start coming in. When, when people are first getting started and they haven't got their first few sales, this is a tricky one to maintain because they can't see the possibility. They don't, they don't have that you know, validation that it that actually works. And this will naturally fade away more and more. The external noise of people online, that's never gonna go away. There's always gonna be haters, there's always gonna be trolls. But the, the doubt from the people around you and your self-doubt will come down as you start to see the results coming in and as you start to see, you know, I can really do this. And then this will take care of itself. You know, this is important to understand, but when you follow this path, what happens is it starts to loop back on itself. This will this will start to take care of itself. And then you'll hit that mark. And then you'll say, all right, well, how do I hit my first 500K? And you redo the math. And then, you know, you're gonna be presented with a bunch of new mindset issues. That's a big goal. You know, is it possible? Can I do it? New levels of doubt will come in. And then you need to level up the offer, right? Now I need a $2,000 offer. Okay, or now I need to integrate recurring, or now I need to start adding, adding low ticket to get more volume through or whatever. But these are the pillars. And, and maybe you start adding new conversion processes, or you go from Facebook to adding on YouTube. Wh whatever it is, these are your options. You just need to pick the path that fits you and then stick with that. When you're persistent with that over and over again, you create content on these platforms to fuel your sales process so people buy your thing, right? And then, and then this gets better and the math takes care of itself. There's no way that you don't win. You have to. The only reason that it wouldn't work is if, it, is if you stop, okay? So that's it in a nutshell. That's the path to hitting your first six figures online. If you've got any questions, uh, drop them below. If you wanna get into uh, this in particular, affiliate marketing and focus on high ticket, check out the links in the description. We can really, really help you out with that. And uh, we'll get you moving with proven sales processes, a daily action plan, how to grow your audience, uh, how to how to grow a tribe of followers and, and the skills to monetize those things, okay? We can give you a very, very streamlined version of this that you can come into, do the work, get the coaching and mentorship, plug into a community, all those kind of things, okay? But either way, if you decide to do that or not, I hope you got some value from this. Uh, there's a lot here. Watch this video a few times if you need to. I think when, when this clicks, you'll get a lot of clarity and it'll really help you out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon. Give the video a like if you got any value from it. I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.